The stink bug invasion is on. Good evening and welcome to News Channel 9 at 530. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Latricia Thomas. The stink bug population appears to be exploding as people find them crawling and flying everywhere, even inside their homes. News Channel 9's John Pless has the buzz on why they're out in numbers. John. Latricia, bug experts around the country are trying to find a way to stop the rapid spread of these insects that are bugging homeowners and creating real problems for farmers. They're actually called brown marmorated stink bugs, and they're the result of an Asian invasion that first hit the United States in the late 1990s. Scientists believe they came here in containers and boxes shipped to the U.S. from China, Japan, and Korea. Many of you are now finding them crawling and flying around your house. Well, they're probably getting in because it's warmer in the house. It's a little cooler at night now, and, and so they've been outdoors uh, feeding on crops and fruit and that sort of thing. But now they're going in the house. They don't sting or bite humans and animals, but they can ruin fruit and vegetables. Look at this apple spotted from the bites of a stink bug. Their mouths are actually long, straw-like appendages that feed just like mosquitoes. They puncture and actually they inject a fluid. While most insects like to feed on a specific plant, these stink bugs will feed on just about any fruit or vegetables. And yes, they can produce a sharp odor. Like a, a strong cucumbery, mm -hmm. green vegetative kind of smell. Mm -hmm. Mixed in with a maybe a little lacquer or something. I don't know. It's a the stink is actually a defense mechanism triggered when the stink bug gets spooked. And that just uh, repels uh, anything that might try to eat it, you know, a bird or whatever. So if they've invaded your home, spraying with toxic chemicals will not help. Um, that's not a wise decision from the standpoint of safety as one, but the standpoint of controlling the bugs probably not going to do much good anyway. They're not going to last very long. They're going to get in there and die within a day or so. It's better to find the cracks in windows, screens, doors, and walls that they crawl through. Trying to tell people not to just call up the pest person, but probably call up a carpenter and tighten up the house. So if you find them in your house, use a tissue to grab them and toss them outside or just flush them down the commode. Since their population is so high this fall, the concern among scientists now is that there could be an epidemic of stink bugs in the spring. Those scientists hope to control the population by increasing the number of wheel bugs. That's a natural stink bug predator. Kim? John, thank you so much for that.